Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Gavin from the Gavin and Cali series, and today I'm doing a plugin showcase slash review on the plugin Color Me. And basically, this plugin allows you to create suffixes, prefixes, and change the color of your name. And it's really, really cool. You can do all sorts of stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it. So, the first command is uh, I believe it's slash help color me, and it'll basically tell you about. Uh, colors, prefixes, suffix, and groups. I don't really know what groups does very well. I'm pretty sure something to do with like different like groups and you can add people into it and they'll have certain color stuff. I don't really focus on that. I usually just focus on slash color, slash prefix, and slash suffix. Because those are some of the pretty good commands, right? So if you type slash color, color help, it will show you some basic commands for the color of your name, basically, or anyone else's name. So there's stuff like color help, color list, color get, color remove, color me, color, and then that's basically set another person's color, and then color global, which will be basically set the global color. So to use this color plugin, you type color list and it will show you all the different colors that you can use and the different codes. Unfortunately, I don't think and rainbow works and stuff like that. I don't know why, but if I type color me and then let's say I want to be, I don't know, like rainbow will work for if you're naming, like if you're naming yourself, but I don't think it'll work for prefixes or suffixes. So, as you can see, my name has been changed to rainbow, so if I say, hey, my name is in like a rainbow. If I do slash color me random, it will change me to random colors like that, which is kind of weird. Um, but let's say I want a, like a simple color like just blue. There you go. So, as you can see, my name is just blue, and that's it. So, I think that's pretty sick. Um, as you can see, I already have a prefix. It says Christmas Elf. Because, you know, it's getting to the Christmas time. Better be a Christmas elf. So, that's basically it. Um, if you type slash prefix help, it's basically the exact same thing. Except you're making a prefix for yourself. So, if I type... Also, the color, um, the color codes work on this. So, if I type prefix me. So, I'm making a new prefix for myself. Let's say I want and... Two, which will make it dark green, as you can see right here, dark green. Um, let's just say owner, for example, right? It will say my prefix has been changed to owner. As you can see, my prefix is in green, owner. Now, I like to do uh, the little like bracket things here, so that works just as well, which is good. Also, you can do what I did with the Christmas elf, and I forget what color it was. What was my colors? Oh yeah, the outside was red and the inside was green. So you can do and C and then and A. So you can do multiple uh, colors like that. So let's just write Christmas off again. So basically what this is doing is at the and C part, it's going to write anything after and C in green. And anything before it will just you know stay the same. Which is good. So it's gonna color this little bracket here um, like red. Now it's gonna take this color and basically like color it the rest of the the words because it's after the here. And then basically what this is doing is just coloring this again. So if I press enter, it it also says right here that I my prefix is Christmas elf now. So that's pretty cool. Um, suffix I haven't worked too much with because it's kind of strange. So I'm just going to color list back so I can check out the lists. Um, so if I type slash suffix, um, let's say suffix me. Let's do, I don't know, let's do pretty much the same thing. So and C and A, and let's write, I don't know, Santa, I don't care. And there we go, so if I type something, it says, 
Christmas elf, Gavin, Santa. So, I don't even know, whatever. I think it's pretty cool, but, you know, whatever. So, I think it's really useful because you can basically change it to anything you want. And if you press tab, your color name will show up in the uh, tab thing. If you type list, I believe, yes, it does show the color name of it. It doesn't show the prefixes or suffixes, which is unfortunate, but I don't care. Um, you can also remove suffixes or prefixes like that, because I don't really like suffixes, but uh, I'll take it out like that, so it's pretty simple. You can also set the suffix uh, global. I mean, not the, actually, you can do that. You can do the prefix, suffix, and um, like the color name global, so that when somebody joins, that's the, the default thing that they'll have. So if I type slash prefix um, global, like that, and then let's make it and e new player, like that. So it will basically set the global name to new player. So if I say something, it, you know, deletes it. But if I do suffix remove, I believe this will work. Suffix remove Gavin. Oh yeah, I was doing suffix. I don't have a suffix. I have a prefix. There you go. I believe this will work. Yep, there we go. See, if you don't have a pre prefix, um, then it will just go to the default one, which is new player. So any new players will join in and have that. You can also do that for um, color global, let's say red. Why not? So if I say something, my name is still in blue, but if I do color remove Gavin, you'll see my name is now red because I don't have anything. So that's pretty, pretty basic and simple, easy to use. Which I think is good. Um, let's see what else there is. I think that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Color list, you know, you get the list. Color get, um, you basically get the color name, like of what what somebody is. Let's, I don't know. See, it says the person doesn't have a color name, which is pretty good. Color move, that's self-explanatory. Color name, like this here, you can like color other people's names. So if I type like Cali and then I don't know blue, it will color her name blue, which is pretty cool. But her name was pink, I believe. I don't know, I'll change it to purple. Wait, there's no purple. That's why I like color list, because I can check out the things. Oh, I have to do a underscore here. There we go. Simple enough, right? And that's basically it. Um, I know I didn't do this in my last video, but I will in this one because I accidentally forgot to last time. I'm gonna give the plugin a rating out of ten buckets. So for this plugin, I give an eight out of ten buckets because I think it's really, really good. I think like I'm. It works very well with making like prefixes and suffixes and color names really simple. Um, I'm, I haven't tried out the groups plugin, well the groups uh, function, but I should soon, but I should soon. Um, the only thing I would want is if like, let's say there's a person and they, they're looking at someone else, their name would be that color. I don't think, I think you might need like tag API or something like that. And in fact, they might even already have it if you have to tag API, but I don't know. But if that isn't in here, then it should be, because that'd be pretty cool. Um, that's basically it. Um, my name is Gavin from the Gavin Cali series, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.